In this section, I'm going to be demonstrating for you a tool called the Flow Along Curve tool. That tool is found in the Transform menu down here. Now, it's very different than Taper, Bend, Twist, these other tools which will work with curves, surfaces that are not poly surfaces or meshes. The Flow Along Curve tool will actually help you build a surface. So let's take a look at what I mean. First of all, I need to make some some basically cross-section curves. I'll make sort of some random curves here. These are just simple control point curves. And now, as they're stacked on top of each other, we need to unstack them. What I'm going to do is go down here turn on ortho move my curves up okay now as you can see they form a sort of bent line between them now this is what flow along curve is going to do it's basically going to create a skin between these curves but by the parameters of a separate curve. Let me show you what I mean. In my front viewport here, let's turn ortho off for now. And draw a pretty unusual curve like that. Now, this is how it works. I'm going to highlight my cross-section curves, transform, flow along curve, now it says original backbone curve. Well, I don't have a backbone curve, so I'm going to press the letter L, or I can just click here with the mouse to create a backbone curve for these cross sections. I'm going to draw a line that basically represents where these curves are headed. New backbone curve. Start here, and now we can see what has happened. Basically what flow along curve has done is put these objects, which in this case are small curves, along the path of this line or this other curve. And now if I wanted to I could go surface, sweep one rail, select my rail curve, then my cross section curves. press enter. These are the seam curves which could be adjusted. We'll leave them just fine. Press enter again. Do not simplify. Freeform. Let's rebuild. We'll simplify it a little bit. We'll say 20 points. And then take a look. So as you can see what this has done is taken a series of curves and lofted them or put a skin between them according to this last curve that I designed. This could work also with something other than curves. I'll quickly highlight these, press the delete key, and what if I had some spheres here? I'll create one, I'll turn off my snap here, control C to copy, control V, so I can just move them straight up. We'll create several. I'm just pressing control V repeatedly to keep pasting my sphere. Okay. Let's highlight these. Transform. Flow along curve. Line. This allows me to draw a line for my original backbone curve. Which basically shows it how my, my objects are oriented. In this case, pretty much straight up and down new. Then as you can see it squashes them and changes them as well as placing them along my curve here, my new backbone curve. So again the flow along curve tool allows you to create objects. You can orient them as you like, usually in a straight line. Then create a new line or curve anything you like, 
and it will reorient your objects according to your new curve.